Hey everybody, it's your girl Angie. Welcome back to Kiss My Cheeks TV. <clears throat> I am in the car again. I'm going to give you a quick Big Brother review. This is Sunday night's episode, last night. The no HOH nominations. I'm doing it from the car. <laughs> I am so silly, y'all. I'm doing it from the car because I just got off work and I have a JV football game to volunteer. So I'm on my way to the football game and if I waited to after the football game, my makeup would be all sweated off and I wouldn't feel like it and I ain't want to be another day. So I said, let's just do it in the car again. Y'all don't care that I'm in the car. I really don't have that much to say. First off, I don't really plug a lot of stuff, but as you can tell, I took my braids out. And my hair, I've used, you know, Tracy Ellis Ross has her own hair care line pattern. And so I, I went to Ulta yesterday and I stocked up on the little minis, the samples of the conditioner, the shampoo, the leave-in conditioner, the hair oil, the styling cream. I got me a little edge brush. That edge brush is everything. When I tell you my hair is so soft, it is so hard for me to find products for my natural hair because I hate gel, because I hate for it to get all crunchy and flaky all over my clothes. I know y'all don't care nothing about that. I just can't get over how soft my hair is all day. It's not a big afro puff. I mean, it is a puff, but it ain't an extreme puff. Anyway, anyway, this is my first time really looking at my hair in the mirror all day, so I'm sorry. Big Brother, let's talk about Nicole and Danny lying to each other. That's the first thing I remember. And I'm like, y'all some dumbasses. Y'all sound just as stupid as David talking about, did you save me? Did you save me? <laughs> I mean, okay, even if David was one of the votes for Davon to go home, everyone knows that Nicole is going to be the second because Nicole and don't want day to think that she fucked it twice and all that and i never vote out day because she gave me 500 dollars. all that why is nicole walking around the house talking about no did you vote out day did you vote out day they both sitting here lying to each other they both in the confessionals talking about i don't know if i can trust danny she's lying to me i don't know if i can trust friends she's lying to me i'm like y'all bitches lying to each other and y'all know y'all lying to each other it makes no sense it makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> why, why did you vote out? I understand why Nicole did it. I don't understand why Franz did it. I mean, what's the other girl name? Danny. I don't understand why Danny did it. Like, she owes nothing to Davon. Davon is not going to think that second vote came from her. She's going to think it was David and Franz. <sighs> Just the stupid shit people do in this house. It, it doesn't make sense. It, like to me that didn't make sense i can't stand i can't stand i can't stand anybody in the house i really don't care who wins now let's move on to what happened next okay so now we at the um hoh competition and no now friends wants danny to use her power and let memphis have another try so you know just to take out another chance in case david and kevin won't get the HOH because, you know, Friends is a scary bitch. She can't win the HOH on her own. She got to hope somebody in her alliance win it. She need all the odds in her favor. So, first she upset because Danny is like, she don't want to use it. But then she tells Memphis she going to use it. But then Memphis in his confessional talking about, I don't want to be HOH again. I'm sitting pretty. And I'm like, really, sir? Like, Right now, when it get down to the telephone group, it's going to be any, meeny, miny, mo. So, I don't know how pretty you think you're sitting. It's really going to be any, meeny, miny, mo. Whoever wins the HOH, the target. Like, it's, I don't even see the crack. I don't, because they, they flip it every other day. Every other day, somebody with Cody, somebody with Tyler. We like Christmas. We like Danny. It's... I can't stand the motherfucking telephone group. I just can't wait to start seeing them go home. That's all I can't wait for. So now, Danny does use the power. Everyone think Memphis had the power, which that was kind of smart on Danny because nobody really thinking that it was her. But I'm sure Memphis and friends and, you know, everybody who do know going to be like, yeah, Danny had it. It ain't going to be a secret for too long. So now we at the HOH. It's the little putt-putt golf with a twist. You can got three balls. It land in a hole, 
if you if you take another try, you lose that number. You got to take the final number and set. You can go for the HOH, you can go for the prize, or you can go for both. You got three balls. Make a decision. This was the stupidest. I mean, I liked it, but I didn't understand what people were doing. Like, what stood out to me is okay. Tyler went for the prize. I think Tyler went for the prizes only, and and he won one. He, him, and Danny split. Danny went for both. She said, I'm going to try a couple balls on the HOH. I really don't want to win on the HOH, but I'm going to try just to say I tried. And then I'm going to go for the prize. Memphis wants nothing to do with the prize or the HOH. So he's just throwing it all together. Just kicking it kicking it off the set all together. So I'm like, okay, Memphis. I can't stand Memphis. Like, I really can't. I really can't. Like, Memphis is like, I don't want to go for the HOH. I really didn't want Danny to use that power on me. And I don't want to go for the prize because I don't want to have to come up with a lie, you know, if I win it. I don't want to look like a liar. And I'm like, you don't want to look like a liar. Like, you sure came up with a good lie for the reason why you can't stand David. Like, I know the reason why you don't like David, but you surely <laughs> covering it up to the house the reason why you don't like David think of the reason on your own now so memphis throwing it david got a pretty good score i wasn't too mad at david in his try he just didn't get a good enough score friends completely bombed it like anyway um who else in the house kevin is what threw me i tweeted about kevin <laughs> kevin on his first try kicked it off the screen he he bombed on the second try he got it in a five a five out of what 20 something to me a five is a great number to lock in now even say he did lock in the five he still would have lost but for whatever reason he's pondering in the backyard i don't think a five will be good enough i think i should try again and then he tries again and hits it out off the screen into the lake the sun is kind of my lighting, but y'all forgive me. But um, he kicks it off the screen and gets another zero. And I say, you dummy. The product, I, I promise you, I promise you, everything I love. Production told Kevin to kick that ball again and not take the five. Because everything in me was like, Kevin, if you don't lock in this five, like, I could see on your first try, say on your first try, you got like a seven. And then on your second try, you got a five. And he was like, I'm building up momentum. I might can get a three or a two. Let me try for it. But if on my first try, I got a zero, I scratched. And then I lucked up to get a five on my second try. I'm not about to try to luck up. Like, no, no, sir. That's, that's why you scratched and that's why you on the block. And I hope that's why you go home. Because Kevin is always on my screen crying and whining. He ain't doing nothing to play the game. He just telling people how much he love them and how good of friends. He's so happy I met you. You could have did this shit at a Big Brother reunion. You could have came to the reunion party in Vegas and hugged and kissed on everybody if that's all you wanted to do. Like, so Kevin can go. Kevin can go. And then Cody magically whisked in. They didn't even really show his two when he made the two. They showed it after the commercial break. And it just so happened to curve perfectly, almost fall off the stage. But boop, bumps into a two. I'm like, was production here back there? Was somebody here back there and was like, save Cody. Don't let it fall off the stage. <sighs> Cody is the HOH. He's doing the typical shit of just putting up David and Kevin. And so at the end, Danny and Tyler secretly win $10,000. They get to share it. Um, everybody wondering who won. And I'm like, Danny is not a good liar. Like every time she talks to Nicole, they clearly can't lie to each other. They're that good of friends. And I have friends like that too. Like we can't even try to lie to each other. We gonna look at each other in the eyes. So you might as well tell, tell me the truth, bitch. You already know. So <laughs> Nicole gonna know Danny won $5,000. Now, Kevin, they say next week, or we're going to probably see it Wednesday, Kevin goes off on Cody for being the fifth time on the block. I don't give a damn about that being Kevin's fifth time on the block. I hope it's the last time he on the block and he goes home. Because I'm tired of Kevin. I'm tired of looking at people whining and cry on my TV screen. Friends could be next, honestly. I'm tired of it. Um... 
y'all already know spoiler i already told y'all david goes for the ten thousand dollars in the veto instead of going for the power of veto and not everybody in the house pissed at david and it's like that's what <laughs> That's what privilege does. You're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. If he would have went for the veto and won the veto, they would have been pissed. Why he go for the veto? He wasn't even going to be going home this week. I don't want to put nobody else up. He go for the $10,000 and get $10,000. Why he go for the $10,000? He Don't he know he on the block? No. What David has just done is made the smartest move he's ever made in this game. What David has done this week, and I can't wait to see it, is say, fuck the telephone group they don't want shit to do with metro pre pcs so let me get my little bit of coins from the people that want to pay 9.99 a month and let me go ahead and sit down that's what david has done he's like fuck all this shit it's no way i'm going to win this game it's nobody in this alliance that alliance that really wants to work with me one because you're a dummy but at least you were smart enough to know to get that 10k and go sit down so I ain't mad at David. I can't wait to see it. I'm going to cheer him on when I see him do it. Anyway, that's all I got to say. I think I can't wait for this triple eviction. It's not going to spice up until the house guest learns it's a triple event eviction. The house guest is going to learn one of the telephone group is going home this week. Which one? I don't know, but I can't wait to see it. For some reason, Christmas is now target number one instead of Danny. And everybody's like, oh, we're scared of Christmas. She got a pistol on her hip and she's so aggressive and so angry. And I'm like, bitch, that was just the Christmas y'all was coddling a few weeks ago when she was scared of the black girls and she was about to get shot in her face and stabbed in the face with a fork and had to lock her door when she sleep at night. But now y'all scared of her. Y'all was just pacifying her. Woo, woo, woo. Girl, ain't nobody gonna stab you. Woo, woo, woo. Y'all was just doing that bullshit, but now you scared of her and she gotta go. I hate everybody in the house. I do. And people on Twitter be like, you hate everybody in the house. Why are you watching it? Bitch, I could watch whatever the fuck I want to watch and be disgusted at every, whatever I want to be disgusted by. I told y'all already, I don't care who wins. I watch the show because I love the show. And the entertainment I'm going to get is when the telephone groups gets to go sit in jury. I'm going to have all the fun I've been waiting for it when I watch them one by one go sit in jury. And then whoever wins, I don't care. Congratulations. Let me enjoy what I want to enjoy. All right. <laughs> That's it. I told y'all it's a quick review. I got to go on ahead over here to this game. I really don't want to do it. Football, come on tonight. I got me a couple of dollars on some squares, and I hope I win. I won a little bit of change last week, so I hope I win again. I'm telling y'all too much of my business. But anyway, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. And I hope we have a better episode Wednesday so I really can some more entertaining Wednesday. But it's going to be good Thursday, trust and believe. All right. Talk to y'all later. Bye.